Welcome again to our short tutorials here and um, just wanted to go over an easy way to create QR codes if you have a lot of them to create at one time. Creating them uh, onesie twosie so to speak is very easy to do. There are lots of QR code generators out on the web. Um, I'll do basically the same thing but when you're trying to create a lot of QR codes for a class it can be rather tedious and so this tool uh, that I'm about to show you should help you tremendously. This is called Bulk QR Code Generator. You can get to it by going to qrexplore.com slash generate. If you just remember that first part, qrexplore.com, they'll have a link there that'll take you to the Bulk QR Code Generator, and that's what we want to do right now. Again, if I'm just wanting to do one or two, then I would go to a, a page that would let me enter that information in and let me create just one at a time. Here, though, uh, as I enter information in, say, for example, I'm going to do uh, QR codes for my middle school history class. And so here I have uh, vocabulary words and definitions that I want them to review or study. I'm going to create a QR code for each one. The neat thing about QR Explorer is that for information that I put on each line, it creates its own QR code. It automatically wraps for me, so I don't have to worry about doing that. So for each enter or return that I do on my keyboard, it starts a new QR code. So for example, uh, this first one here, that will be a QR code. The second one, that will be a QR code. This will be a QR code. This will be a QR code. It'll create automatically create one for each uh, line that I have listed. If you just have a few, and let me show this just as an example to start with. Well, if I have a lot, I just click on generate codes after I've either typed or pasted my information in there. And it will uh, create a page with a zip file that I can download. Uh, it'll tell me how many lines, how many codes were created. Um, extremely handy. In that zip file it will have a QR code, a ping file, for each line that I had uh, in there, line of text. But let's say that I didn't want to do uh, 22 things at once. I just wanted to do maybe three or four. If I have a small number and I click generate codes, it will give me the choice if I want to save each one individually or if I want to download them all as a zip file. And here's the cool thing. It's whatever the content is of your file, that's what it's going to put as the name of the file. So it's going to put that dot ping as the name of the QR code to help you keep track of what is that QR code about or say or whatever. The another, another neat thing is that if you click on this QR code, any one that's listed, to save it to your hard drive, it will automatically put that information there as well for you so you don't have to uh, jump back, copy, paste it right here or remember okay what was it that that said it'll automatically make it there for you. So that is called QR Explorer and it's a way of creating bulk QR codes with their bulk QR code generator. Regardless of what content you're doing uh, whether it's uh, you know, math, science, social studies, art, ELA, whatever it happens to be. When you click on enter that in the uh, field provided, click on generate codes and it will automatically generate your QR codes as a zip file. Just download that file, unzip it, and there you will have uh, all of the QR codes each as a ping file. Oh, you'll also have a CSV file that'll tell you the name of the file and what is uh, going to appear in that QR code just in case the name of the file had to be truncated. So I think if you create QR codes uh, you're going to find QR Explorer an extremely handy tool and people will wonder how are you creating all these codes so fast. Hope you enjoyed that and if you have any other specific QR code tools that you love let me know. I'd love to hear about them. You can email me at bellis at tcea.org. Follow me on Twitter. Or if you want to jump to our uh, site, tcea.org, you can get information there about a variety of other topics. 
Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Would love to have a communication. Uh, love to have a, a chat with you or a conversation with you. Thanks so much, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Hope this tutorial was very helpful to you.